The challenge, to renovate a 45 kilometer steel transport pipeline. The reason, leakage. The solution, a flexible composite pipe inside the existing steel transport pipeline. A unique project, unique in the Netherlands, unique in the world. To extract oil in Schonebeek, NUM injects steam into the reservoir. The steam liquefies the oil so it can be pumped up to the surface. The oil and production water are separated above ground. The saline water is reintroduced into empty gas fields in Twente, transported via an underground 18-inch steel pipeline. A leak occurred in 2015, caused by bacteria in the pipeline. The saline water leaked into the soil. NAM stopped oil production immediately. One option was to dig up and replace the entire transport pipeline. But this is an expensive option and extremely disruptive to the environment. A better alternative is pipe-in-pipe -pipe technology, inserting a flexible, corrosion-resistant composite pipe into the existing pipeline. This entails digging up and cutting the steel pipeline at multiple points along the route. Next, the flexible pipe is pulled through the existing pipe using winches. It's a fast and sustainable solution with far less impact on the surroundings. But there's one complication. A pipeline is 45 kilometers long with numerous bends. Pipe-in-pipe -pipe technology has never been used on this scale. How much tensile strength can the composite pipeline withstand? What is the maximum pulling length and behavior in bends? And how many dig-ups are required? That's why the contractor Acquaintance conducted extensive studies and tests beforehand. This research has been followed with great interest by experts in the oil and gas industry. The on-site preparations. Because the route runs through vulnerable natural areas and privately owned properties, Local residents and authorities are consulted. Steps were taken to minimize disruption to all involved. A special transportation plan is created. After reviewing a variety of international suppliers, Flex Steel is selected. The flexible pipes are transported by ship from the United States. The reels are stored in the Eemshaven and transported just in time to the section where they're required. Transports were scheduled for times when children were not cycling to or from school. The optimal locations for the dig-ups of the existing pipeline are precisely determined. The soil layers are dug up and stored separately so they can be replaced in the correct order. Much of the work is carried out with local contractors. A total of 62 locations will be excavated, each measuring 7 by 18 meters. Construction of a new pipeline would mean digging up considerably more soil. The steel pipe is dug up and cut. What's known as a pig is launched with a narrow cable to the other end. A five-ton winch pulls a tube with environmentally friendly lubricant through the pipe. This will reduce any pull friction later on. Next, a 20-ton winch pulls the pipe at a speed of 10 meters a minute. The supplier's stainless steel compression joints are fitted by specialists from the United States using specially developed equipment. The coupled sections are protected by an extra protective sleeve. A visitor's day was organized for residents and local press. Each section of new pipe is pressure tested at 120 bar for 24 hours. 
nitrogen is inserted under pressure in the pipe annulus to prevent corrosion and for safety management because permanent pressure monitoring will detect every leak. The cutout pipeline section is resealed and every weld is being checked. Then the entire pipeline is tested. When all specifications are met, the pit is closed. The land that was excavated is then returned to its original condition, in line with the landowner's wishes. Five months later, the project is finished, leaving nothing to indicate that a unique project ever took place. 45 kilometers of flexible pipe inserted into an existing steel pipe. An innovative renovation project, quick, safe, cost-effective, sustainable, and with minimal environmental impact. Everything was executed within the existing permits and consents. Oil production can resume.